Hi there. What's up, Frog? Hi. What's going on, Ribbit? Well, some kids at school have been asking me about animation. You know, how a cartoon is made. Like us. We're cartoons, Ribbit. Yes, we are. I'm pretty sure that's why they ask me. Anyway, I was thinking the best way to tell them is to show them. Good idea. But how do we do that? Well, first, we can take them to a place where magic happens. Turner Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. My friend Emerson went there and met a super cool guy named Brian DeTagios. He's a senior animator and director, and he gave Emerson an awesome tour. Cool. Ribbit. Emerson arrived at Turner Studios one sunny Friday afternoon in April. Security was tight, so Emerson had to check in and get clearance. The campus was huge and full of really cool stuff, like the motorcycle from the Ben 10 live action movie. Whoa! I love that movie. I know, right? First, Brian took Emerson to the Cartoon Network offices. Those people are crazy. It's like they're all a bunch of kids that work there. There was even one dude skateboarding through their office. Okay, I so want to work there someday. Oh, and check this out. The artists and animators all decorate their offices with things that inspire them. This guy was a little into Star Wars and Transformers. I love Star Wars, but how could they ever get any work done there? I'd be playing with the toys all day long. Well, maybe that's why they hire actual adults to work there. Eh, uh, good point, Ribbit. Over in a corner, they had an old-fashioned animation desk to remind them of how they used to have to do animation before computers were used. I bet it used to take forever when they had to draw every single picture by hand. Used to? Even with computers, Brian said that it takes a professional animator working really hard every day, an entire month, to animate 20 seconds of a cartoon. Whoa, okay, that's a really long time. Brian just started a project that he's going to be working on for 14 months. What is it? He's turning a really famous comic strip from Brazil into a cartoon. And it's going to be completely in Portuguese. Portuguese? How will Brian know how to make their mouths move right? Yeah, that's going to be real tricky. But he's not afraid of a challenge. Whoa, is that the set for Inside the NBA? Oh, yeah. On the walk from Cartoon Network to the Turner Studios offices, they stopped in on the set of Inside the NBA. Emerson got to sit at the desk where the hosts sit. That is really cool. And he got to get a close look at the giant screen behind the desk, which was made up of millions of tiny LED lights. When he looked up close, he could see each one. Okay, that is totally awesome. Oh, the whole place is awesome. Look at what they put in their windows. <laughs> I guess they want to make sure they have inspiration everywhere they go. Where did they go next? They went to Brian's office next, and he showed Emerson how animation was really done. Brian told him about how he once got to animate the original Scooby-Doo characters. He said that they used these things called model sheets to show what characters look like from every angle. That way, they make sure they look exactly how they're supposed to, no matter what they're doing. When do they do the voice recording? That's my favorite part. The acting. Ribbit. They do the voice recordings once the characters are drawn, so the actors have some inspiration to work from. Sometimes they do what's called an animatic next, which is a really basic animation, kind of like a storyboard that moves. Do the actors record the voices for that? Not usually. Normally, it's just some people around the office that record what's called a scratch track. After they get their approvals on the animation and the script, then the actors come in. I want to do that, Ribbit. I'm sure you'd be good at it. You should ask my friend Emerson if you can meet this voice actor he knows. His name is Pat Fraley, and he's been in, well, just about everything. All right, Emerson, how about this? This is the way you want it? I protect the universe from the evil Emperor Zerg, sworn enemy of the Galactic Empire, to infinity and beyond. Got a cup of java coffee, la ne grande, Sumatra, baby, yeah. That was one of the worm guys from Men in Black who love coffee. Wow, it's near us, no, a jungle, ha 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 ha. That's gotta be perfect, right? Good, thanks, because I'm gonna go take it. I've gotta go, I've gotta. He seems really cool and fun. I think I could do that. To infinity 
and beyond. Yeah. Anyway, once the animators get the finished audio track, they can get to work bringing the characters to life on screen. They use what they hear to create facial expressions, body movements, and anything else they think would help tell the story. Sometimes they even add extra characters to a scene if they feel like it needs them. Does it really take them a whole month to make twenty seconds of a cartoon? Yeah, it does. But thanks to advancements in computer animation, they can be a lot more efficient than they used to. Brian explained it. The great thing about working on the computer is we could draw a line, and if it's not perfect, whereas on paper we'd have to white out and erase, here we're able to select the area that we want to smooth and hit a smooth button a bit to sort of fix it up. And we could zoom in, sorry, and I can push and pull the lines to exactly where I want it to be, which obviously you can't do on paper but I'm able to do subtle nuances to make it just right instead of wasting time whiting out and re-inking and then possibly making another small mistake. That is so cool! I want to learn how to do that! Well, there are simple animation programs for kids like the one Emerson used to make us. It's called Crazy Talk. For this, Emerson drew three versions of his background with a standard paint program and then put us in the room. After that, he and his brother recorded the script in his mom's recording studio, and then they exported the recordings from Pro Tools into Crazy Talk. Inside Crazy Talk, Emerson chose a close-up or a two-shot, linked each line of audio to one of us, added emotions, eye, and mouth movements for each sentence, and then applied it to that line of dialogue. It takes a lot of time, but it's definitely a lot quicker and easier than the way they do things at Turner Studios, but quite a bit more limited too. Well, I think it's a great way to start. I'm gonna give it a try today. Maybe I can give myself some big manly muscles. Grrr. Yeah. Good luck with that, sticky fingers. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>